Hi there, I'm Sarah from Mini Model World. Uh, today I wanted to talk about dollhouse wallpaper. As you can see next to me, I've got quite a large dollhouse that is in desperate need of renovating. So one of the first things I wanted to do uh, was to re-wallpaper the walls. Now, before taking on this project, I had never actually wallpapered a doll's house before. I'd done things like box rooms, cardboard dollhouses, but this is my first proper scale dollhouse. So to make sure that I got it right, I've done a ton of research uh, into what wallpapers are available, prices, that kind of thing. Uh, so I just wanted to talk you through uh, what I've discovered. So that if you're planning a similar project like this one, you don't have to do all that work yourselves. Uh, so to start with, just a brief overview, there's four different types of wallpaper that you can get for dolls' houses. The first one is self-adhesive. So as the name suggests, you just peel it off, measure it, peel it off, and then stick it on the wall, smooth it down, and it's done. The second one is paper. So these, these are normally sold by dollhouse specialists. Uh, this was from Melody Jane, and this was from My Tiny World. There's hundreds of different options available, and these do need gluing down. These aren't self-adhesive. The third option is downloadable and printable wallpaper. So again, as the name suggests, you literally find a pattern, download it, print it on your printer and stick it on the doll's house wall. And the final option is scrapbooking paper. So you've probably seen these in craft shops or if you watch any YouTube uh, scrapbooking or craft channels. There's loads of different varieties available. This does have quite a few drawbacks, uh, which I'll talk about in a second. So the vinyl adhesive option from Stick and Go will withstand wear and tear simply because it's not made of paper, it's made of vinyl. So it's a very good option if you're decorating the doll's house that your kids are going to use. Second then, it's doll's house paper wallpaper, which is a bit hard to say. Uh, so this, there's hundreds, if not thousands of different varieties of patterns available. Uh, this one was from a company called Mel Melody Jane, who are well known in the world of doll's houses. As you can see, it's quite small. Uh, I think that cost about a pound, but they vary from about one pound a sheet up to about ten pounds, depending on the size and pattern. Uh, one thing I will say about this is it does have a white strip at the top. Now, I redecorated my daughter's Sylvanian family doll's house and forgot to cut this bit off before I started. So I included this in the measurement. So when it came to fitting the wallpaper, it was about half a centimetre out because I'd included this and then I, I then had to cut it off. So if you do get one, I think this one has got one too. Just uh, some text on the top there. I don't know if you can see it. If you do get one like that, make sure you cut it off before you measure anything. Um, so yeah, so that's quite thin, but it's good quality print. And again, it was about a pound. Uh, for a doll's house this side, you're going to need more than one sheet of that because it, it's quite small. The paper option from My Tiny World is also a good choice if you're decorating a doll's house that children are going to use. Uh, it's very sturdy, as you can see, the paper's quite thick. Uh, it's also splash resistant as well, so it will withstand a lot of wear and tear. And it's also UV resistant, so if your doll's house is going to be in a window or anywhere with sunlight, it shouldn't fade. This side, sorry, it's a bit of a creak there, even on a doll's house this size, you can see that's going to cover quite a lot of space in there, so it's good value. I think this was about £3-ish, um, so yeah, that's about A3 size there. The third option is downloadable and printable wallpaper, so the advantage of this is that you don't need to go to a shop to buy it or order it online, uh, you can simply download it, sometimes it's free. Sometimes you have to pay and then print it off. The issue with this is the quality completely depends on how good your printer is and what kind of paper you're using. If you don't have a particularly good printer or you're low on ink or if you don't have you know, particularly, particularly thick paper, it could be an issue. But just to give you an idea of what you can get there, this is just plain white office paper. And I have papered uh, a little box room with this before and it did work quite well. But as you can see, compared to the others, this one from Stick and Go, the quality just isn't as good. The final option is scrapbook paper. Uh, so yeah, if you've been in any hobby shop, you've probably seen scrapbook paper. My mum is into making cards, so I pinched this from her. Uh, as you can see, there, she had a book of about 75 different pages of different patterns. Uh, and I think that cost her about £5, so it's very, very cheap. Uh, the downside with it is often in books of 
scrapbook paper you don't get multiple copies of the same page so these were the only two in there that were the right scale but there was only one page if you see what I mean so if you wanted to decorate again the downstairs of this room you're going to need a lot of pieces of this paper and there's going to be a lot of seams so it might not be the best choice for large scale projects. The other issue with it is the scale so out of a book of 75 different patterns these were the only two that I could find that were of a scale that would work with a doll's house like this that one I'm not going to be able to use anyway because I've just seen that one of my kids has drawn on it so <laughs> that one uh, will be going in the recycling bin and just very very similar to the scrapbook paper a scrapbook card I got this from a charity shop uh, there's five different pieces they cost a pound but again you can get these from hobby shops um, similar well very similar to the scrapbook paper the designs can be quite big so you wouldn't be able to put this in a smaller doll's house for example and I've not actually tried this but thinking about it I'm wondering if it might be too thick to stick anyway but it's something to try and for a pound for five sheets you know it's it's worth picking up and having a go if you want to practice with it so my verdict then is your best options for doll's house wallpaper is either the vinyl wallpaper from stick and go I'll put the links uh, below and also this one from my tiny world just because it's such high quality uh, a very reasonable price I think this was about three or four pounds and the size of it means it's going to cover a large area in any doll's house uh, so they would be my recommendations I've done a full blog post on how to wallpaper your doll's house uh, including examples of projects I've done before what has worked what hasn't worked and also glues to try that sort of thing uh, so if you are about to embark on a renovation project then I would highly recommend reading that blog post uh, and the links below. So there you go that's a quick run through on the options available for doll's house wallpaper so thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.